Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. Um, in this lecture we will cover the things that we discussed last time uh, about patch management, asset management, system tools, reports, remote control and software deployment. Now before I start this video I just want to tell uh, our um, viewers that if you're coming from YouTube, Google or any other place for the first time this is a course related video so there's definitely going to be a lecture first and talking because we give information out for real world scenarios and real world uh, we make people ready for real world so there's a lot of talking so if you're coming here to watch this video just for technical stuff you might want to forward this video just to see the technical stuff but uh, it's going to be here talk and then technical stuff talk and then technical stuff um, so it might be a little bit boring for someone who already know this stuff so let's get started um, now what I want to do in this um, in this course I am going to be using one software to do everything that is just to keep thing keep things clean but it doesn't uh, don't think that it's the only software that can it can do these things the, the main reason of showing the software so you guys can know you guys are a little bit familiar with the technologies that are being used so for example if it's a patch management inside one software then you might want to look for a patch management system that is not just in this software but some other uh, also some other uh, software can do this too so that that's going to give you more practice more uh, skills on um, just patch management system so if you go for software deployment this tool might have a software deployment ability but there are other tools that are um, greater PDQ deploy SCCM all these are great uh, tools that you guys can use for deployment um, so this is going to train you um, in a very uh, basic level because computer lab technician uh, person doesn't need to know a whole lot about uh, Windows net, uh, administration but they need to know basics and from here you can move up I guess it's up to your situation so how are we gonna start this lab this lab is basically going to be very very less resources that everybody that I think everybody should have so I am not going to be using any servers or anything like that because I know most of the people won't have servers so we're gonna do it I'm going to be using the same way you will have computer like this so I strongly suggest that you use a, a, a computer that you have it for like um, lab environment so use that computer or if you're like me who don't care um, just use your own but use everything on your own risk um, I mean things can work things sometimes don't work for someone um, so please do that make sure you have uh, you kind of use this as on, on your own risk so how are we gonna start this I have a system that's 32 bit and it has only uh, 2 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna go there and see right here 32 bit and 2 gigs of RAM now in most of the companies or uh, places where they have labs uh, it usually is a uh, schools or uh, somewhere that people like technical school people go and um, learn things but then they get imaged and all that so most of them usually keep it on work group um, and uh, now you have noticed that n you will never see a person uh, a, a company a good company uh, that has an office and that will be on under the work group because you can't manage them like Active Directory so but labs are a little bit different and like I said it depends on your situation so there could be some people using under domain it's really up to their the way they're the processes the way uh, they do things and maybe they don't do imaging a lot maybe they just do uh, they have labs but they just lo they want people to log in uh, on their own username and password so it depends so but wherever I worked uh, as a computer lab technician usually uh, you get uh, you get jobs uh, inside schools and students and all that stuff so they usually keep it on work group um, and um, so that's why I want to use just this computer so that you guys kind of do the same thing and uh, so you guys can keep up with this lab uh, so let's get started the first thing I want you guys to install is the virtual box uh, virtual box um, if you don't know how to install this I am going to go through it. Like I said, this can, this lab is going to be very big because of the installation that that we're going to do. So basically, you go to VirtualBox inside the Google, and then you click on Download. And once you click on Download, then you pick your uh, Windows, which is basically right here, uh, 4.3.20, and then install this. I'm just going to quickly check it if I have the latest one.
I have a very old one, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to install it right now in front of you guys so you guys can follow it. So I'm going to click on this and it says you want to save this. I'm going to save this file onto my computer. Okay, so I installed it. I'm just going to run this software. Preparing to install. Click next. I'm going to keep everything default. Next, and then I am going to keep everything default and click next and I'll say yes install now while this is installing let me talk about how how am I going to do this basically my computer is going to be the main computer and uh, the the virtual system that I'm going to be installing is basically going to be the student computers now I am definitely going to show you guys in a real world on a real machine how to how to um, do imaging and stuff but for to, to learn about asset management patch management deployment we really don't need um, that stuff so that's where, where where I need where I feel like you guys need to know how to do things from a uh, real physical things I am going to show you guys but if it's something to do with software and all that we can definitely save some time and use the virtual systems and, th and that's how you guys are going to be uh, practicing too because most of you guys might not have two computers uh, even if you do uh, I prefer using virtual because um, it's better to just use it this way and get learn learn this stuff but then if you want to go uh, when when I show you guys the physical side of it then you guys can test your um, real systems so at this point we're just waiting for it to get this thing finished so again I'm going to be using my computer as a master computer where I I am going to be installing the software and then the virtual system that I'm installing right now is going to be Windows 8 and uh, we will be basically um, uh, managing the Windows 8 machine so in, in the real world is going to be like one system that's basically like let's say one lab with this computer is your administrator computer and then the rest is just uh, student computers When you get these prompts, you can just check this and click install. All right, so it's done. I'm going to finish it, minimize this, and now I'm going to open a virtual box again and check if I have the latest. All right, so now I go to help, go to up, about, and now I got the latest one. So I have the virtual box now. Uh, the next step is to install um, the software that we can basically do all this stuff. Patch management, asset management, system tools, reports, remote control, software deployment. And the software that I'm going to be using in this lab is uh, Manage Engine Desktop Central, which is which is perfect for uh, lab management and even for other like you know, if you're using it as a full patch management system for any uh, I don't think there's any if you guys pay for it definitely it's, it's for medium large business or any 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 other businesses desktop central and when you type desktop central this is the first link right here and I'm just gonna click on that so what it gives it gives you about uh, 25 uh, fully functional uh, licenses so if you go to download let's say for example features you click on the feature it tells you what it can do for you desktop management it can do patch management it can do software deployment it can do remote control asset management windows configuration service pack installation active directory reports you don't need that uh, user administration OS deployment OS deployment is also not covered in this one though but power management and there's a lot of stuff I mean 
not everything you will be using but the main things are like patch management and software deployment uh, and remote control uh, for lab computers because you know you want to keep them let's say for example it's one semester or three semesters uh, for about three to two months and you want the students to be working on it you just want to keep it at least protected so it has to be patched then sometimes students will come up with a request so everybody think that you know what we need a Firefox now we're not using Chrome so the teacher will request that so it, are you gonna go and install this on each computer even if you have image are you gonna go back and create a new image and then do, do whole reinstallation again for that I don't think so right for not for one software nobody does that so you will just install this and just deploy it from here from this one machine and you're done with 30 computers in probably 30 minutes so that's the main reason uh, we want to do this uh, but again don't think that this is the only software that can do this stuff the reason I'm doing this so you guys can know the terms patch management software deployment remote control there there are other software specifically made for patch management then there's sp software specifically made for the software deployment so you guys are actually understanding the technology here you're not yes we can do this thing with the software great but you know the main reason is for you guys to become a technician so that you guys can learn other things and advance in your also in a career so you might want to just um, go to from lab technician to IT support specialist from IT support specialist to engineering so it's up to you guys but uh, like I said, this is not to show off some software. This is not to. I'm, I don't work for the software. It's just that things are easy on this, and you will learn the, te the the technology here. Okay. So if you click on the free edition, uh, it will give you uh, how many licenses you can use. Um, so my computer is acting up somehow. Let me fix that. Okay. So if you click on the free edition. So let's see, the free edition is right here. Features comparison. So if you go down to comparison, comparison, compare editions. Um, here, small business uh, with up to 25 computers. You get everything, just a few things you don't get, but you can get it for free. Okay? All right, so now we're gonna do is we have to just click on download and then click on download central 9 and then save the file and let's wait for this to finish now while this finish I uh, will stop this video because I want to keep this less than 15 minutes and the next video we will continue from here thank you for watching job skills share and computer lab technician course